Okay, so our next speaker is uh, Yaroslav Gusev, and he will talk on the relationship between self-attention and uh, convolutional layer. So go ahead, Yaroslav. Yeah, let me start with a brief introduction of what we are going to talk about. Um, we are going to talk, in, uh, to talk about uh, multi-head attention, uh, self-attention uh, mechanisms that are used uh, in transformers, in uh, NLP uh, tasks, but uh, this mechanism can also be applied in different uh, machine learning tasks, in particular uh, in image recognition, where we can, can consider like uh, attentions between uh, uh, different pixels of your image. And uh, well, we all know that uh, in image recognition, convolutional neural networks works uh, pretty good. And uh, the authors want to uh, compare uh, uh, self-attention mechanism and CNN um, structures of neural networks and how they uh, um, uh, connected <clears throat> with each other. Uh, so, what is multi-head self-attention? How it's, it can be defined? Uh, let, let X uh, be an input matrix that uh, actually contain uh, T uh, tokens, like words in uh, text or pixels of an image. And uh, each token is represented as a, a D in dimensional uh, vector. Um, and then, uh, these two uh, formulas uh, actually express uh, the self-attention uh, mechanism where we have three important matrices, uh, query, key, and value uh, matrices that are trained. And, uh, but here the, um, we don't have, um, uh, we don't take into account uh, positions of like war of tokens in uh, uh, the sequence or like pic uh, position of pixels on the screen and then and, uh, uh, there uh, there is an idea how to um, okay. Uh, imagine we have uh, th that contain our tokens like words or pixels, and this uh, space uh, can be uh, in many uh, um, which, for example, word we have uh, actually a cloud in this space, and then um, actually each vector that belongs this cloud uh, uh, is actually represent uh, one particular uh, word or uh, pixel. And then uh, we can use uh, the infra, uh, infra vector of a uh, pixel on an image we can encode it as a, a position in this cloud. Uh, it, ca it can be done uh, using uh, this P uh, matrix that can be can added to the um, initial uh, X and contain the full information about the um meaning of the word and visualization self-attention mechanism um, it's multiple heads uh self-attention multi multi-head self-attention and uh it's actually where we have uh, like uh different uh, attentions uh, with different uh, um, so, yeah, sorry, Yoslav, there seems to be a problem with this connection. I don't know if it's my connection uh, or your connection. Can somebody confirm that they can hear Yoslav well? Okay, and we. 
Uh, there and, does uh, seem to be some lag. Uh, yeah. Okay, there is a. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can you hear us? Uh huh. Yeah, I can. Okay, there is a problem with connection. Uh, okay. Uh, the, uh, so I don't know if you can maybe move a little bit or uh, if there is a way to. Okay, I, I can try. I can try. Is it better? Yeah, I think so. So, so just to uh, make sure I understand. So you're saying that uh, a vector is x, uh, with, with the word or, or the pixel is x, but you also want to have some positional uh, knowledge about this x. And so then you, you, you can don't think about x as just a vector as a cloud. And then within that cloud in the vector space, this uh, vector p, uh, represents where exactly the, the word is or a pixel is located. Is that, that the idea? So P encode yes, that's, that is some what kind of I high frequency to... modes encode information about, you know, the positional dependence of this, this word. Yeah. And this way you can like put together uh, information about both what the word is and where it is or, or what the pixel is and where it is. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, perfect. Thanks. And so I'm not sure you, uh, you. Uh, <clears throat> so I said the pre previously that we have a multi-head uh, self-attention where we use uh, different um, self-attentions and um, like separately, and then concatenate the results of them into uh, final multi-head self-attention, and then. Let me so, and that would be kind of projections, right, to different subspaces, uh, and then in each projection, you you do the same um, uh, separately, right? So there is some in one projection, uh, you create like one cloud, I don't know, and one vector, and the other projection, it's some other cloud and some other uh, sub vector, and all of them uh, separately uh, tell you about certain correlations that are expressed by this. Um, attention then so it's, it's a kind of correlation right so it tells you how different words are related to each other it's not the correlation it's related yeah that's the idea yeah yeah sure Perfect. Mm. and let me switch to the convolutional structure what we have here uh, is that here i switch another notation with uh, i follow the uh, actually author's notation where we actually uh, now will consider an image and then we our input is x is actually um, a tensor where we have like uh, indexes that are related to um, like um, uh, pixels and uh, then uh, we also have uh, like d in uh, it is the number of channels uh, like for example if, when we have um, colored image then we have red green and blue channels and then d in will be equal to three and uh, the well-known uh, convolution uh, operation is that uh, we like uh, have some i would say mask or uh, weights that uh, we, we shift for, with the image and get some a result with some smaller dimension and yeah mm. and this is the uh, formula for this uh, operation mm. where we where there's there is a summation over all possible shifts uh, that appears when we convolve in the image with, with some kernel and uh, uh, what we will have um, for images for attention uh, here previously we uh, like have uh, one just one index that uh, like um, going with the, the uh, tokens with our tokens in our input here we have a, a multi-index that contain uh, uh, 
um, that belong to the pixel because pixel, uh, it's two, dim two dimensional image where we have uh, two uh, indices uh, representing the position of uh, uh, the pixel. Uh, and I join it into one, uh, the, I mean, authors join it into one um, multi index. Mm. And here is uh, the, for absolute positional encoding. And also, there is also a um, uh, possibility to, to uh, uh, um, uh, construct a relative positional encoding, like when we do not care about absolute positions of uh, pixels. Uh, but we, we do care about uh, how about the relative positions between uh, each tokens. Uh, yeah, and so in this case, our attention score uh, depend only on uh, shift shift del delta, and where other like um, vectors u, v, and uh, matrices are trainable. And um, let me go further to, to the uh, main uh, results. It's actually a theorem that uh, claims that um, actually a multi-head self-attention uh, layer can express any convolutional uh, layer within, within some um, uh, conditions, within some <clears throat> constraints, of course. And um, this theorem um, pro pro can be proven by two lemmas. And the, the first one uh, is actually uh, that uh, if we uh, like have uh, these results as, as an attention of probabilities, like when uh, we have uh, for each query, uh, we have uh, only one non-zero uh, value, and otherwise we have a zero value. And um, here is uh, here it is a map between uh, the head that we have in multi-head self-attention and the uh, shifts. And so for one particular shift, uh, or, or um, yeah, for one particular shift, we have non-zero uh, self-attention probability. Yeah. And there, there is a lemma two that states that for particular, for there is exist, there exist um, particular values of uh, matrices uh, W and uh, uh, the, the, such that uh, this condition 10 uh, is met. Uh, so what uh, lemma proof is uh, quite easy. So I will briefly discuss it. Uh, if you like express uh, the multi-head self-attention and then uh, like uh, this here we uh, had before a concatenation and it is like, uh, it can be written as a sum uh, and when, uh, if we consider only uh, like one um, projection of this uh, multi-head self-attention to the to one particular query vector, uh, then we, we will have this uh, expression. And then we can use our um, condition 10 uh, in the description of this lemma where we can use that many like terms in this sum will disappear and there will be only this x q minus uh, this f uh, like as uh, here and uh, then we can compare this expression with the uh, expression for a convolutional layer, and we can see that uh, they uh, perfectly matched. And uh, uh, what are the numerical results of the authors? Here is one, one just one example. Yeah, for more details, you can follow the original paper, of course. And 
what we can see, we can see that actually the uh, we can see a lot of, for example, we, when we go when we look at the layer one and different uh, heads from in, in here uh, ropes is uh, different layers of the model and uh, columns is different heads of uh, multi-head self-attention mechanism. And we can see that for layer one and layer two, uh, we can see that conditions from lemon one is met that because we can see a lot of zeros, zero values and one uh, non-zero value for some um, shift. And uh, it claims that the, the authors believe that uh, these results confirm their hypothesis. Uh, and their hypothesis is that um, actually self-attention a model can learn to perform the same as CNN. Because what they stated is that they, they, they just stated that uh, there exists some uh, values of trainable variables uh, such that uh, the model will perform like uh, CNN. But uh, why should the model learn uh, these values? So, uh, and in their uh, numerical results, they, they actually, Learn, learn it in, in, for some layers, at least. So that's- I see, so the claim then, it's not just that the self-attention uh, mechanism includes within itself a uh, convolutional net, neural network, uh, but maybe stronger, right? If you start with a self-attention uh, appropriately defined, then the, the system will itself converge towards convolutional structure. And so you'll have the like convolutional structure emerge uh, from uh, self-attention. Uh, and so, yeah, so then it does mean that convolutional neural networks are a lot more constrained. And then it does show that uh, self-attention kind of includes that. Uh, it shows two things, right? So that convolution included in the self-attention mechanism and moreover, uh, so uh, the, the, for images, at least, whatever they considered, the uh, self-attention uh, model is con um, uh, uh, converged towards convolutional neural network structure. So they kind of two results there. Okay, perfect. Thanks. I will stop. Are there any yeah, questions? <clears throat> Thank you. All right. There are no. If I might. Other questions? No? Okay. Yes, I have some questions. Go ahead. Good. And actually, a couple of questions for both presenters. But uh -huh. like, All right. Yeah, first, I'll like start with Yaroslav. So basically, this paper, uh, some kind of doing more rigorous analysis, what's pretty much obvious that this dot product set of uh, at, uh, attention is pretty much similar to convolutional ne uh, networks. And especially if we consider not just dot product attention, but additive attention. Uh, I just was thinking, can we uh, do this like another way? So replace, because this current uh, dot product attention things, they really prone to some kind of uh, violent behavior when we have close angles, uh, like because this is uh, a dot product. So this is basically a polynomial of second degree. And if we have close uh, like cosines, it can give like spurious things. Maybe we want to work more on CNN architecture to achieve same and better results and some kind of replace. Yeah, but I think, uh, okay, maybe I'll jump in. Just, uh, I, I think this is exactly what they're saying, right? So they're mm -hmm. saying yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. CNN does include self-attention, mm -hmm. but it's more, uh, I mean, well, it's, it's it's less general CNN than, than self-attention, but it is it is working better. And so if, and so the, the system is kind of uh, uh, converge the, uh, in that direction if you just start with self-attention. So it's, it's a bit, it's more constrained, but constrained in the right direction. And mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. you should not like disregard CNN, but learn from it for how to make uh, your self-attention. 
I think that might be yes, mm -hmm. and maybe not just uh, like use it but extend it because this is not a fixed. Oh, option. absolutely, yeah. So, so again, I mean, uh, from what I understood, I mean, I have to. Like, mm -hmm. So, so it's CNN uh, is uh, less general than self attention. Uh, so uh, CNN is included in self attention, but but it is is it's a good limit of self attention, and so really, uh, you know, identity being more general doesn't mean being better, right? So mm -hmm. it, it is. It is more general, and and yet uh, CNN has right constraints that make it work better. That emerge even if you don't tell the system that you have uh, such constraints. So yeah, so I don't think it is just forget about CNN, but learn from CNN and and, and improve self attention. Maybe that's the way to to. Yeah, because this like spurious behavior of uh, this dot product uh, like self attention, we have to do uh, all like always after each layer uh like renormalization yep yeah and in case of cnn we're not plugged with this issue so okay so i know how to improve it i think i know now after this talk how to improve it give me a month <laughs> <laughs> okay excellent <laughs> so i think i think i pretty know i pretty much know what it means in the, in the language of physics and so on and, and when i understand when something in the language of physics i know how to write it uh okay but anyways uh good question thanks Stanislav. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, like, if I may uh, ask questions. Uh, but let me just stop the recording because okay, now yeah. mm -hmm. other reading. And uh, yeah. thanks. Mm -hmm. uh, unless there are other questions about the, this talk. I know for the question. Uh, yeah, I had a simple question. Go ahead. Um, yeah. So I think the theorem they prove only for 2D convolution, right? Uh, uh -huh. Did they give any hints as to like, would this scale to 3D convolution or 1D? No, they. they like, I would, think they only consider two two dimensional case. Yeah, well, my guess, okay. my guess, the dimensionality here plays no role. Uh, you can yeah. scale it. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, it's just you know, uh, it it just yeah, it will, it will work in any dimensions. But that's my guess. Other questions? All right. Uh, thank you, Rostov. Thank you.